All right, here's the uh, right side mounted up on the FXD. A couple things to notice so far. For one thing, this buckle here, it's fake. It's, it's not a real buckle. That's really kind of silly, in my opinion. You got a nice little bit of room down here. This, uh, this outer bag is really soft, really supple. It's kind of nice. You got definitely got some room in here. You can put, you know, cell phone, wallet, glasses, set of gloves, you, you know, something, something you want to be able to get to fairly quickly without having to go through all this. This would be really nice. On the Leatherworks, they've got these kind of fake buckles too, but they've actually got snaps underneath, plastic snaps, just like what's, what you find actually underneath the bottom of this. That, the reasons we've yet to discover. Yeah, we don't know why those are there. Of course, as we mentioned earlier, you got the little snap buckles there. Pop this. We're already going to say Viking bags. The, the Velcro here is getting old already. Yeah, the, the Velcro is, is definitely old. I feel like getting old. the Velcro without these would have been one, one way, and then these alone would have. You know what? Buckles. I mean, if, if the whole point of the Velcro is to, be, is to keep this down, keep it from flapping around when you're riding, it, it could be like half that fucking thickness, really. Well, not only that, if it's to you know, help with water resistance, because again, it seals it kind of instead of having it open to where. I don't, I don't know. I'm just saying that. Just getting in and out. For example, just let go real quick. Okay. Oh, just, oh my bike, my, my bag fell closed. Damn it. Yeah, that, that, that really. That's the whole. That, that's right. what I'm saying. It could hold this with half this strength and still be fine. In all honesty, I'm probably gonna do something crazy, like rig up a magnet right here. I'm gonna glue or you know some kind of a magnet, so it like holds itself to my fender open, so it doesn't fall on me when I'm in here. Because that would be nice. Aggravates the crap out of me. But if that's a simple fix and that works, I mean. Because a magnet, all I gotta do is pull it away from it to close it. If it'll hold itself open without... You know what? Instead of this Velcro, magnets really would have been the way to go. Yeah. You yeah, know, that, that just, just some, just some, you know, not, not, I'm not talking like rare earth magnets or anything, but just some, some minor magnets that just hold that down for you. That would have worked too. That would have been great. And just that would have been much easier to pop on and off without all this freaking Velcro. I will say I haven't figured out what I'll use it for. But I do kind of like this little inner pocket. It's just a, an unnecessary but very nice little touch. Oh, yeah, we got Yeah, I still got to put the uh, buttons in there. The little buttons to fill these holes right here. Now, you can see we, uh, because of where we mount, we mounted this as low as we could. And as you can see, we got this right up against the, uh, the metal bracket. So, what we've got here is some, not the washers that came with it, nor lock nuts, actually. The huge, huge downside there. Uh, you include the necessary 10 millimeter um, length uh, the bolts. You include the necessary 10 millimeter, 70 mil, I think they were length bolts, and they're good length, they're good length, so we actually put, brought the bolts in from inside the uh, fender. Does not include lock washers. Does not include any kind of washer. No or, nuts. Uh, uh, nuts, yeah, it does not include the lock nuts. What the heck? We happen to have some spare hardware. We don't have enough to do the other side tonight, um, but no nuts, they're, so. No you nuts, have to go to, you, you have to go get lock nuts or some kind of nuts for the back Viking in order bags. to mount these on here. You, you, you don't have enough nuts. All other hardware was included. We checked back in the instructions. Maybe it was a shipping mistake. No, it instructions even call for do them not. The, uh, yeah, instructions do not show them at all. Very disappointed by that. Now, as far as the actual bag, once it's all bolted down, is that some silica gel? Yeah. Leave it in there. Yeah. Once it's all bolted down, it does seem to be on there. Pretty, pretty freaking well. You see, I'm shaking the whole bike here. I mean, it's not a triangulated position. It's only these two bolts, but they're two thick bolts that do hold fairly well. Yeah, I mean. Matter of fact, now, now I'm curious. Where's the other, where's the other two bolts at? What, the other two bolts that go to the other side? Yeah. In here. Pop one out. Oh, wait, here, let's, let's demonstrate how much of a pain in the ass this Velcro once again is. I'm curious. Let me see. That. Let me see the end of it. Oh, it does not state what class these are, huh? They don't feel very heavy, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say they're probably just like class 8.8s. But no, it does seem to hold pretty well in there. I'd be interested to see how this actually does over time, but and yeah, just kind of our initial impression on there. They're, uh, you know, what are they like 200, around 200 bucks or so for them? I'll have to double check on the price, but. For two hundred dollar bags, I'll, I'll say I'll say that I'm pretty impressed. They look I'm like they're impressed. worth. They look like they're worth their asking price so far. The uh, biggest thing for me is going to see how they stand up to the weather and the test of time. I already noticed that as we were talking about in the earlier part of the video, this plastic bottom has like warped its way up 
It may be a small gripe to you, but I mean, I like. I think once we put some weight in there, though, that's gonna kind of some weight, itself. maybe some heat sitting on the sun. These have been sitting in a box on my porch for the better for part of a year. The better part of a year. And the reason for that being, again, Viking bags. Another little mistake that you made. These bags were intended for that bike right over there. This is Dowart's FXR, and if you look, due to the step design of his fender rail. These, this this bolt-on design will not work. This is a different, it's not on the same plane here. Yeah. So we, we look for all ways to mount these up and the reason why it's such a delay in doing this video is because we need a bike to do it on. So I'm hey. That's FXR and that's FXDX, not FXR. I'm sorry. <laughs> and we're finally doing the video. We now have a test subject. In the meantime, what he's been borrowing are my set Leatherworks. Leatherworks bags. Now they're dirty right now. Oh, they're dirty. They're filthy. These, These things bags, have been ridden hard and they have ha handled it with a plumb. They have put up to the test of time. Very thick, strong leather, quality construction, no gripes. They got a throw over design. You can do no, I got one gripe with it. I will say this. One, one gripe. I really wish they would have included a snap or a piece of Velcro so that when these guys go into their little straps down here, inevitably after I've been riding down the road, these come back out. And, oh, if I can just, yeah, and they flap in the You know what? A little magnet. That is, I that, had the same gripe when they were on my Roadstar um, and on my VTX. But that's the only gripe. No, that's Other the than that, they've been great. I mean, they, they hold their shape for having no plastic reinforcement. That, that's reinforced with plastic. These are all leather. There's no reinforcement. They're just thick it's leather. Just thick, full grain leather. And now, let me let me just point out one of the greatest little features that I can't believe how much I've used. These little metal hooks on the roof of this. I cannot tell you how many times I have bungeed something to the back of my bike using these from one bag to another. I will not have that. I, I, I have to say, well, I don't see this on many on, on many no, bags anywhere. Leatherworks, you guys, seriously love this. But the, this video was intended for the biking bags. The only reason we brought up the Leatherworks bags is this is going to be our benchmark oh, yeah. to uh, compare these are, to. Considering these are over twice the price of the Viking bags, if we even get, well, I'd say at least half. That's the question, it's twice It's twice the price. Is it twice the bag? Yeah. I'm or for half, half the price. Are I wanna you... know if for half the price, if after a riding season, are these gonna find their way on eBay or am I gonna be satisfied with rocking them and not stealing my bags back from Dower? Yeah, cause then I gotta go buy a set of them. <laughs> They're about the only bags I found that fit up nice and neat behind my shocks. So we're going to finish up tomorrow when we go to the Ace and get the uh, other necessary hardware that was not included. Um, get the other side mounted up. And we will have one future modification due to my quick disconnect sissy bar, but we're not going to worry about that right now. We're just going to rock them as they come, and then we'll make a separate video when we decide to modify the brackets. If you notice, the brackets, they sit out a little bit, just make sure you don't hit anything. Well, in this particular installation, there's absolutely nothing there for them to hit. So we're gonna go ahead and cut these things down, so move them in, and promptly move them back out using a quick disconnect spacer. So the distance on the quick disconnect spacer, we're see. not gonna need, yeah. Installed on this side. I don't want the double. You're not gonna need the double, double that, no. They're just sticking out that far. So we're gonna cut these, we'll just cut these down on the chop saw, that won't be anything major, and then we'll go ahead and powder coat them back up. But before we do that, we're gonna put them on as they were intended to go on by Viking Bags and do an initial ride around review. So they can't say if we don't like them that we altered them in any way. All right, so I think we're gonna call it there today. We got quite a bit done over there on the bikes. You can see the uh, FXDX getting some bag love. The FXR getting a little bit of that rear electrical love. <laughs> 